Let's look. Lifted by wind. Let's look at the Western Pacific then, uh, and this is a particularly interesting forecast. I feel uh, this year we are expecting 31 named storms, which is four above average. 17 typhoons and 10 major typhoons of category 3 strength or higher. Interesting key messages and key points on this. Um, current indications suggest that one or more early season typhoons are likely around the Philippine region in May and indeed already coming up on the long term model forecast we're looking at some significant typhoons possible at least when you look at the GFS we know how wrong they can be sometimes but uh, it would appear that the trend is towards some significant activity in May and indeed at the end of April even. Um, and then in June and July we're expected to be near average with predominantly weaker storms. I wouldn't bet on seeing a strong typhoon, of course they can happen, uh, but I don't think we're going to see too, anything too out of the box. Um, and then a substantial uh, long tracking typhoon with severe impacts cannot be ruled out in August. We're not sure yet, but one of the indications was showing a long tracking intense typhoon possibly ploughing northwestwards through northern Taiwan into China. But currently it appears as though late season activity though could be well above average, possibly reaching historic levels from October through December. Now by this time storm re recurvatures look like they're going to become less likely and the Philippines, Vietnam, Hong Kong, Taiwan and Japan, all of these places are all at risk of severe impacts with a much higher normal probability than normal. So that is something to look at towards the late season. So far there have been no indications uh, of storms tracking particularly far north, uh, so we're not particularly concerned about the Korean Peninsula, at least not above normal levels, um, and we haven't found anything clear cut for any storm impacts there. But of course we know that anything can happen in these seasons. Now you'll see the colours on the screen there um, and showing some really dark orange in October and that is where we expect a real anomalous activity to happen with some possibly very strong typhoon uh, extending on into November as well. Um, and here's a track mock-up mock that we had for a worst case scenario showing just where all of those tracks are going. Uh, the colours correspond to each different month. Uh, they get redder as the season goes on. Um, and you can see there uh, the tracks, the general spread really favouring just off the coast of the Philippines and over the land as well. Um, and South China Sea could be quite a busy season there actually when you look at it with some strong typhoon impacts possible, um, especially places like Hong Kong and central Vietnam uh, and Taiwan and even the western part of the Philippines may be a little bit higher than average on the chances this year. Showing you there uh, just how busy it's looking for tropical storm conditions. I mean, yeah, this is pretty normal. The Philippines averages one typhoon a year, so it's actually a surprise when there isn't a typhoon impact there. Uh, but once again, very high chances of tropical storm and typhoon conditions extending up through Taiwan, uh, through the southern coast of Japan. There could be significant impacts there along the southern coast um, directly, but moving inland, maybe not so much. Uh, the Korean Peninsula, yeah, around average, um, and looking for typhoon conditions, let me try and find that. Um, yeah, obviously the Philippines, very high chances, right up the east coast, a little less on the west coast actually, although they have more chance of drop the storm conditions. Um, and central Vietnam, an area that watch northern Vietnam, a little bit less for typhoons, maybe more for tropical storms, uh, could still be very wet, um, rainfall above average particularly towards the end of the year is areas that we could be looking for flooding concerns on land masses all around the South China Sea. If you have any more questions uh, in general around Force 13 and what we do um, and possibly to join in on our contributor drive please feel free to send us a message uh, contact at force13.com or you can also send us messages on social media at Force 13 on Twitter and you can search Force 13 on Facebook and join our Discord server with our big community of over 3,800 uh, storm trackers right now all around the world covering all weather topics. You can find it at discord.gg slash force13.